Oh, what a wonderful day. Joe Biden and Jill Biden are going away. But not by virtue of what the Republicans are doing. It'll be by virtue of what your Freedom Watch has just done. We filed a lawsuit to hold Biden, his doctor, Kevin O'Connor, and Jill Biden, basically in contempt for lying to the American people. It's based on fraud. I filed it as a Florida voter. That's my home state. I was defrauded in 2020 and 2024, as is going to occur shortly, in terms of others voting for Biden because they felt that he was physically and mentally fit. The fact is he wasn't. This was a fraud. It diluted my vote. It disenfranchised my vote. It made it less important. And that is the theory of the case. I filed this case yesterday. You can see it at freedomwatchusa.org. I'm wearing this hat, only good vibes, because it's a good vibe that Joe Biden and his wife are going to be going away. You know, she's been the enabler. She's been the person who basically has lied to the American people who have said that he was in good health, that he was mentally capable, and he wasn't. She lives with him. She knows. Now, we don't wish her any harm. We don't wish Biden any harm. We just want him gone. Because right now we are facing wars in Ukraine with Russia, and that is our war, make no mistake about it. In the Middle East, that's our war as well as Israel's war and other wars and Saudi Arabia's war and everyone's war who believes in freedom and putting down the Iranian regime, which is behind all of this. And of course, there's a war on the horizon between China and Taiwan, not to mention what may occur with a nuclear Iran and a nuclear North Korea. I'm an optimist. That's why I do what I do, because if I was not an optimist, I just walk away. But I believe that we can change things. I believe we can make this country survive and make it for the better. And we have to do that with good people like you. And I want to thank you for your support all these years, not just when I founded and ran Judicial Watch, not just when I ran for the U.S. Senate in Florida, but also now running Freedom Watch and also in my private practice. So I'm wearing this hat, only good vibes. I found it recently. It's a nice color. Uh, it's a nice hat. But I also want you to take it to heart because I want everyone to feel optimistic if, only if, we rise up to do what needs to be done peacefully and legally. But if we just sit there and watch cable news, read books, and I suggest that you do read my book, It Takes a Counter Revolution, Wake Up America, but that's not enough. You have to act, and we have to act soon because our country is slipping away. With the grace of the Father and Son, we will save our country. But as the old adage goes, God only helps those that help themselves. So I want you to go to freedomwatchusa.org. See this case that we filed yesterday. We filed one a few days before for Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who was defamed by Biden, to try to smear Trump to affect his election chances. We filed it for the sheriff. We didn't file it for anybody other than our client and our friend. But this is not the way society should go. This is not the way people should be treated. People should not be smeared and defamed in the media. I would say 90% of what you read today, doesn't matter whether it's conservative media or liberal media or ultra leftist media or whatever media, you can't believe it. They make it up. They don't feel there's any accountability. And that is why we at Freedom Watch will make sure that there is accountability, that media is held accountable for telling untruths and lies to harm people needlessly. That's my message for today. Remember, only good vibes. If we help ourselves with the, with the divine providence of God, there will only be good vibes. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless America. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. And again, remember, the Father and Son will only help us if we help ourselves. Thank you for listening to me.